Luke 17 verse 34 says, I tell you in that night there shall be two men in one bed. The one shall be taken and the other shall be left. Verse 35 and 36 repeat a similar concept using the same exact word taken and left and again taken and left. And in verse 37, this says, And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, thither will the eagles be gathered together. When we go to the original Greek, taken is the word para lambano. And left is the word afiemi. Paralambano means to be taken, joined together as a friend or as a companion. This is the same exact word that we find in John 14. In John 14 too, the Lord says, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And verse 3 says, And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and para lambano receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Para lambano receive you, take you as in a friend or a companion for myself to be with me in my father's house. Afiemi, which is translated as left, actually means to be discharged or to be forgiven. This is the same exact verb used in 1 John 1 verse 9. The verse says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Afiemi, forgive, let go is in, forgiven. It's also the same verb used in Matthew 6, 12 in the Lord's Prayer when we say forgive our sins or also used in Luke 7, 47 in the context of the woman to whom much was forgiven. So I want you to see that there is two groups, not just one man and another man, two groups. One group is gonna be taken to be a companion, to go to the father's house. The other group is forgiven, let go, forgiven. So who are these two groups? In verse 37 of Luke 17, we read, And they answer and said unto him, Where, Lord? Where are they taken? And he said unto them, that's the Lord Jesus, Wheresoever the body is, thither will the eagles be gathered together. But the word body used here is not a dead body. It's not a dead man. It's soma. And Soma is the body, often referred to as the body of Christ. The actual group of believers referred to as the body of Christ. And eagles is not vultures, it's eagles. The Greek word is aetoi. And aetoi means an actual eagle with wings. But the word aetoi is used in Revelation 8, verse 13. Let's read. And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Whoa, whoa, whoa. The word aetoi, which means eagle, is used for angel in the book of Revelation, which really means that in Luke 17, what the Lord is referring to are angels gathering where the body of Christ is. This is mind-blowing wisdom and truth of the Word of God. 
which I'm encouraging you to go and seek the Holy Spirit for yourself. There are two groups called the body of Christ. The angels are gathering to collect them. One group is taken, raptured, to be a companion and taken to the Father's house. The other group is forgiven, let go, and allowed to withstand the tribulation to enter into the New Jerusalem and repopulate the earth during the millennium. These are the gentle bride, which is being raptured, and the Jewish remnant, which will survive the tribulation and repopulate the earth. This is why the Lord Jesus mentions the days of Noah, or says it will be like the days of Noah, because there were two men who walked with God. One was Noah, the other was Enoch. Enoch was taken. Noah was left to go through the tribulation in the ark and be saved to make it into the new world. Isaiah 57 verse 1 says, The righteous perishes, and no man lay it to heart. A merciful man are taken away. None considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. Verse 2, he shall enter into peace. They shall rest in their beds. Remember, two men will be in their beds, each one walking in his uprighteousness. In Jeremiah 31, which is the chapter I've done a full teaching on, on the new covenant in verse 34 says, and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, know the Lord for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them says the Lord for I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. This is not my wisdom. I share what the Lord shows me. There's great deception out there and men who taken on their own intelligence to read through the Word of God without the sermon and without the counsel of the Holy Spirit. But there are hundreds of thousands of views of people watching these videos without the sermon. I'm asking you to return to the Word of God, to absolutely be not grieving the Holy Spirit. Ephesians 4.30 with whom you've been sealed for the day of redemption. Therefore, if you're not bearing fruits of righteousness and true holiness, as we read in Ephesians 4.24, please seek the Lord. Seek the Lord that will help you, and He will bring you to repentance as a fruit, which then will allow the Holy Spirit to properly teach you so that you will hear the Word of God correctly. I'm not here boasting. I'm begging and pleading that you return to the Word of God, that you stop listening to men or women, prophetess, apostles, but instead that you verify that everything that everyone says is correct, aligning with the Word of God, which is definitely found in the original Greek and Hebrew text. I invite all of you to join my Zoom calls and services. This is a place where I go in depth in these teachings. They're free. I'm not charging anything. I am doing simply what the Lord is asking me to do out of obedience to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is the place that I have where we can go in depth, understand the Word of God and the teachings of the Holy Spirit. I hope this message was a blessing. Please let me know in the comments below. May the Lord Jesus bless and protect you all. In Jesus' name, amen.